guys, it's Carlos Adames with Toga Percussion. Um, I'm gonna get like Hello, this is Carlos Adames with Toca Precaution. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, we're going to have a very special guest. Okay. Let's see, once. There we have Mike. Let's uh, get him. We have a very, very special guest today, and uh, we're going to talk about some very cool things. So don't miss this. Hey, Mike, how are you? Made it. How you doing? Yes. Good, good, man. It's good to see you. Likewise, I forgot that this is vertical and my stand is horizontal, so give me a right. moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hopefully I'll get this to work out. Now you can look at my ceiling while I set this up. Oh, man. A little bit of padding in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should leave in the studio soon, so this will be the last that anyone sees it, I think. that remembrance remnants of the bad boy down there yeah there it is, <laughs> there it is. all right i'm go. glad you i'm glad you could make these thanks so much for for joining us my pleasure welcome distraction from the chaos of the world let me tell you right um <clears throat> so for those who don't know mike is the editor for uh mother drummer uh, magazine on um is this mic on social media as well as on, on the magazine itself, or you maybe can describe your role better? Yeah, um, <clears throat> excuse me, 16 years in, I am managing editor for Modern Drummer, and I do primarily educational content for print and digital and uh, product coverage for print and digital. So I review all the new gear. I test it awesome. out in this home this home studio. I do a lot of video demos for the website. Awesome. So, awesome. Fun gig. Yeah, it is fun. <laughs> I'm doing exactly the same thing right here. But um, so you have for those who don't know, Mike had his hands on the new Toka Kickbox uh, yep. for some time, and he he was able to actually play it, check it, test it, record it, and uh, we posted a reposted a video of you for, uh, playing it, and mm -hmm. we just loved the, the EQs that you got on there. But it sounded great. Um, I didn't do much. I mean, no, it, it was thumpy out of the box. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm surprised. Uh, it sounds fantastic, and yeah. uh, we were trying different microphones in in our place here. But yeah, I like what you did. It's very good. I mean, this um, thing right here. SC Electronics V Kick yeah. is my new favorite bass drum mic. I just sat that thing four and a half inches outside the hole on this suitcase kick. Okay. Done. Done deal. Sounded great. Nice. <laughs> I mean, it was unbelievable. I didn't even change the tuning. So, however, you guys sent it to me, it's still exactly where it started. <laughs> well, you'll be surprised. That's exactly how I have mine here. And I had a show on Friday night and I just took it. And everybody was like, man, that sounds amazing. We had no microphones whatsoever, nothing. Cool. No on snare, nor the tom, or the kick, nothing. And it just sounded fantastic. It was a trio playing mostly jazz, but uh, these, I'm super surprised with the sound for, this, for the small size that this has. 
Mm -hmm. um, it has a very cool kick, you know. Yeah, the tom was. I thought it was going to sound kind of like a roto tom, but it didn't. You know, I was able to get it low, kind of, kind of remind me like a pandero to low kind of vibe, which was right. fun. Yeah, so I didn't even bother. I got that tom's kind of like as low as it could go and left it because it just sounded great. Like I'm not going to mess with it. The snare was cool because I, I went super high to see what it would do, and then went super low to see what it do, and it kind of lived nice in both spots. Nice. Um, the full demo that we'll post has me tweaking the snare. I don't touch mm -hmm. the bass drum or the floor tom, but going you know, super high with the snare and down super low. It was, I was surprised. I liked the really low compressed sound. It had kind of mm -hmm. like a splatty right. sound, which was cool. Right. What do you think about the, the snare uh, wires? Do you like the feel? <clears throat> I'm used to it because I've used the, um, what is the Toka Jingle snare? I've used that forever. Yeah. Um, so I'm used to this, you know, the wires in the bottom set up. Right. Um, the throw off seemed to work good enough. I mean, it helped, it held tension. It didn't, it didn't fly off at all. Um, yeah, I mean, it worked. Did what mm -hmm. I needed to do. I don't expect a drum like this to be like a symphonic drum, you know? <laughs> right, right, right. I just wanted to be kind of an effect. Um, this thing did, I didn't realize it, but the screw came completely out while I was mm -hmm. playing it. I did I hadn't like tensioned it at all when I yes. got it out of the box. Yes, I, I, I noticed that playing on Friday and uh, I, I did tension mine so that it doesn't fall off. And, um, and I noticed this one thing that it has little padding like a thumb in the, in the, where, in the inside. Oh yeah, and, yeah. And it's kind of nice that it changes a little bit the tuning and uh, pressure. And I was very surprised with, with the system that uh, our guys at the factory came up with for the throw off, which is the easiest way I could have think of. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> it's so creative and it doesn't take any space. You know, it's uh, specifically <clears throat> I expected it to pop off while I was playing. It didn't. <laughs> it didn't budge at all. It's tight yeah. enough to where it holds. Yes. No, this is it's, it's definitely a very recommended drum, and not just to have with the uh, with the, the kickbox itself, but you can also add it just by itself mm. to your actual drum set as an auxiliary snare, as what it is, or your timbales. You know, you have a nice small percussion set you can always yeah, have true. these and, and yeah, use these, it are, as a, these are the same drum right just one has the wires and one doesn't yes it's the same size 10 inch and pretty the, darn cool and i think also the 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 enhancement on the sound it's obviously the drum heads from remo yeah these coated pinstripes yes yeah, they are yeah that made a big difference on especially on the tom yeah yeah make a Notorious sound. Yeah, I didn't have to put any tape on it or anything. It just got that thumpy sound right away. It's right where I left it. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's like as low as it can go, but it was thumping. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very cool. It sounds great. <clears throat> Question for you. Where, yes. where do you put the... Because you've got limited position with the tom and the snare. Mm-hmm. Where do you put the two drums? Do you put the tom over the middle or do you have it more over to the side? I, so I'll show you very quick what I have right here. And uh, so, where's my thing here? So if I'm using, usually if I'm trying to, to play, I, I kind of want, if you see the logo of the, Toka. Yeah. Kind of want to have these in the middle, and these Tom. I will try to get it a little closer. But this is if I'm playing only the drums by themselves, mm, and I'm not okay. adding any any other like uh, attachment on the handle for any symbol or stuff. If I do, then I can attach something here to hold the Tom closer. Ah, I mean, okay. And use these rod 
that where where the the thumb is being held to attach a symbol arm. And uh -huh. that kind of gives me a little more room to play with. Uh, because this is very easy to, to attach something on it. Actually, I have, let me see where is this. Um, I have one right here. Is it the same thing I have? <laughs> it's like show and tell here. Yeah, yeah. I think it's. This is what exactly, the guy sent me, one of these. Exactly, arms. yeah, like a, a double, a double holder this one just like these you know ah, so okay that you can just attach here mount it, and then this arm comes off and you can, you can move these have more wiggle room to make a different setup but um yeah i i think uh it's a thing of getting used to play your drums a little more in the flat position mm. then obviously with, with just putting it on the rod you have no angle to move it right but the idea of this is uh, fast setup practicality put it on play go um, yeah but the, the angle thing didn't bother me at all I no it I think it's really cool sure. and mostly I mean I, I'm 6'2 so if I sit, I usually don't sit on this one, but if I sit on my throne, it's a little higher. So I'm like, regardless, mm -hmm. I'm tall and I'm like, I'll be super easy to just get there. You know, it's, it's more comfortable per se. But um, so that's just the idea. Um, I think many people might have a chance to check their, a different setting once they get their hands on it. But I, I love the, the way you had your your attachment with the symbol. So that's uh -huh. what we've been doing a lot. Yeah, I use a pair of um, – right here. Everything is still right here. The uh, Zildjian FX stacks. Right. The little um, eight-inchers, so it just went right on the symbol arm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they worked perfect. I was able to put that right, right above the snare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it was funky. I could use this thing for, for, like, loops and stuff all day long. Yeah, 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 it's great. So can you talk to us about this um, podcast of uh, coming mm -hmm. up? Yeah, so I hosted a podcast for almost five years with um, <laughs> the great online educator, Mike Johnston. We did 250 episodes mm -hmm. called the Mike and Mike Show. And then, you know, we finally decided that had run its course. Uh, Mike wanted to focus on his business and do some other things. I had to get, you know, refocus on my job at Modern Drummer. So Modern Drummer started a new podcast. It's um, more of an all-encompassing Modern Drummer product. So we have interviews with artists that have been featured in the magazine. I'm interviewing representatives from drum companies to talk about products that we're testing. So it's a little bit more like a, a buffet of, of <laughs> drum conversation. Mm -hmm. um, so this week, this week, yeah, I think it's this Thursday, uh, I dropped in the video of this kickbox. So okay. in, the, in the second half of the episode, you'll be able to see the whole demo. We're it's not super long. That. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, I did basically what I did. So the video is, is the first time I basically took the thing out of the box, figured out how to set it up, played it for two minutes, adjusted a little bit of tuning, turned the cameras on and rolled for seven minutes or something and just played. Nice. So what you're seeing is me playing it, messing around, finding something I kind of liked the vibe of. Changing the snare drum tuning, doing it again, changing the snare drum tuning, doing it again, and that's it. So it's a nice. liter literal first impression of the kit. Um, and it's rare for me to get a drum set in the studio that quickly ready to right. record. Very rare. Yeah. I didn't have to tune anything, which was surprising um mike mike's they just sounded good i just use basic uh what are these se v beat dynamic mics on the snare and the tom the v kick on the the suitcase the pair of overheads that was it just jammed minimal mixing just basic moves i always do the eqing out some of the low mid uh, mm -hmm. cloudy stuff a little bit of high end to just crisp it up that's it Right. So really what you hear is what it sounded like in this room. 
Yeah, it sounds great. It sounds great. And uh, so what was your first impression about once you hold it, take it out of the, the cardboard box? Yeah. Coming up to weight and just like how light it is or what do you think? Oh, it's heavier than I thought. Um, I didn't realize it was metal. I think I thought it was going to be like a suitcase, like leather or something. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the case itself is just a little bit heavier than I expected, but obviously it's not anything compared to a whole drum set. In weight. Right. Yeah, totally. Um, I don't, I wouldn't have any problem carrying it to a gig with everything inside with the pedal inside, probably could even fit those little hi-hat symbols inside. I'm pretty sure you can. And just carry the whole thing. So yeah, I mean, all in all, especially considering all the hardware that's that's on it, the hoop and everything. Yeah. yeah. This is a metal handle. I didn't expect that. Mm -hmm. So that's great for clamping stuff too. Yeah. It is metal, right? Yes. It sounds like really hard. Something. No, the, hard. the body is wood. <laughs> the body's wood. Yes. But the the handles and all the hardware is it's metal. Yeah, so I mean, it's hefty, I th which was good, I think, also for I wouldn't feel afraid to take it to a gig where I'm really playing, too. Like, it's not going to fly over. <laughs> it didn't feel like it was right. going to just blow apart on me as I was playing. Nothing right. drifted. I was concerned about the, because the, you know, the tom arms swiveled up and down. I was concerned that they would just slowly start to droop. Yeah. They didn't. But they have this uh, locking system with the drum key, so that's kind of convenient. Yeah, it didn't it didn't budge. So I would definitely take this to like a small club gig or yeah, yeah, small venue. gig or duo show or something or a, where I'm playing maybe some djembe on some songs and whatever. Have this as an option, and also for recording, just how quickly yes. and easily it sounded, just funky and inspiring. Uh, yes, definitely. That was cool. I didn't expect some of it. Uh, some of our artists already took a couple for spin and some shows and. Uh, it was great to see them and the response that they got. You know, it's like yeah. you, you launch a new product and you expect that, uh, well, you hope that everybody is going to respond with a positive uh, yeah. answer. And this has been such a good uh, experience as a product that even considering everything that we've been all going through with the pandemic, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's been hard on the musicians of uh, lack of shows and, and everything. And so far, the response has been great because uh, I believe it's a very good product. It's uh, creative and mostly space saver, you know, mm -hmm. the, the, the idea of just carrying it. And you can put it on the cargo compa uh, compartment and aircraft and, go in and out and that's easy so yeah it's kind of convenient yeah i would maybe just have like a little hand cart for it like a luggage cart that would be about it like if yeah. you're an airport <laughs> yeah definitely i don't know what security yeah. would think of that <laughs> yeah yeah so when is the podcast coming out when is uh it's available? supposed to come out thursday the thursday. Every, every new episodes come out every thursday okay um if we get all of our ducks in a row this one oh, should be ready to go We'll definitely uh, see it on our channel and our, our YouTube uh, channel as well, so everybody can have access to it. And nice. um, um, we were chatting before. Uh, I don't know how many people we have, but regardless, many more people will see it uh, later. We're talking about actually November 15 being the International Drummers Day we're going to be giving away this kit. This and very kit right here, right? We're going to give it away, yes. I haven't it's broken still... it yet. It's still here. <laughs> this <Yeah>. very kit. <laughs> not the throne. You don't get my... Uh, not my the throne. <laughs> not, the, not the carpet either. Or the mics. You can have the carpet. Um, you can get it. <laughs> so the, the, the way that uh, we're going to try to do these is by... Everybody who wants to apply for a chance to win this has to uh, put their name, obviously their ad name, uh, Instagram account, in the, in the comments below this live stream. And tag five friends. Just make those five friends and yourself are following Toka Precaution 
as well as Modern Drummer, and uh, obviously my Dawson too. And uh, we will uh, celebrate this on November 15th, and we'll mention who is the lucky guy or girl. To it's get a Sunday, this. I believe. I, I'm not sure, but I believe I you. It's, yeah, I think it's the two Sundays from now, because I am selling my house on the 16th. Ah. <laughs> Closing soon. Or is it close? <laughs> we are getting there. Yeah, uh, almost. <laughs> good luck, man. Um, um, something else that you, you have to say? Anything else you want to say to everybody? I should clarify about the podcast. We are distributed exclusively through Podcast One now. So you mm -hmm. need to get that app, Podcast One. Um, I believe they also send it out through Spotify and other channels, but I know podcast one get their app it'll be in there okay we'll make a note yep other than that Definitely. subscribe to modern drummer check it out um you know be good so, stay safe keep drumming mental health is for me drumming has become about mental health this year. oh my goodness yes all the gigs are gone so just absolutely yes use it's the been... drums for health <laughs> yes yeah, so stay sane and and creative Playing exactly. in the basement every day as much as you can. Yep. Find something funky that inspires you like this and just disappear for an hour. This is what right. you can do. <laughs> well, Mike, it's my pleasure, man. Thank you so much. And please check out the video that Mike posted. Uh, it's a wonderful sample of this super cool kit. And uh, follow our fellows and mother drummer and my new friend, Mike Dawson. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Hope we get the jam in person sometime. <laughs> yes, Matt, definitely. We will. Well, it's good to see you. Be safe. And thank you so much. Have a good night and good luck with the house. Thank you. I'll see you soon. All right, man. Bye.